Nusinersen is, if you wish, a designer drug. It's a small piece of DNA. It's called an antisense oligonucleotide, and it's designed to attach to a very specific portion of the gene uh, that is responsible for causing uh, SMA. In fact, it's the backup, the rescue gene. And its, its function is to try to modulate the splicing of that gene to allow inclusion of what's called exon 7 into the transcript and thereby increase the amount of the SMN protein that's deficient in these babies. The NDIR study was a pivotal uh, randomized controlled study, so it was a phase three study, to try to identify both the safety and the efficacy of nusinersen in babies under seven months of age who were predicted to have type 1 SMA, or the most severe form. And that study convincingly demonstrated that, in fact, nusinersen in the treated arm uh, both increased survival and improved motor function as compared to the sham control arm. Gene replacement therapy is a very hot topic, and uh, this is work that's been pioneered by Dr. Jerry Mandel and his colleagues at Nationwide Children's Hospital and was published in November 2017 in the New England Journal of Medicine. And this study was a phase one study that only involved 15 patients, and it was really designed to be a safety dose escalation study, but in fact, what it showed was that these babies, particularly the 12 who were in the higher dose uh, cohort uh, had remarkable improvement in their motor function. Uh, so we were seeing uh, about half of the babies achieving sitting at the end of study, as was reported there, and that is something we just don't see in SMA. So this is a transformative treatment, and we're awaiting now the results of the phase three study. So both the new Sinersen antisense oligonucleotide and the AAV gene therapy strategies are showing remarkable responses in both improved survival and increase in motor function. But it's important to note that these are not cures for the symptomatic patient, and that's raising additional questions. In particular, do we need other strategies in combination therapy? Do we need to look at targeting not only the motor neuron and increasing the SMN protein that's being produced in those motor neurons and rescuing them in effect, but do we need to be targeting muscle and other tissues as well? So currently, uh, there's active investigation to look at these other strategies. Uh, in fact, there are uh, two other drugs that, are, uh, that work similar to nusinersen, but they're given orally, and they'll have systemic delivery to these other tissues. So hypothetically, they may even show an improved response over nusinersen, which is delivered intrathecally and really directed only to motor neurons. Now that we have this first treatment of nusinersen, uh, for the treatment of children and adults with SMA of all types, uh, we're starting to look at uh, what's next. Uh, so while we await the results of the gene therapy study, uh, we're also looking at combination strategies to include uh, drugs that increase the uh, muscle contraction force, uh, a drug that stabilizes the mitochondria uh, in these stressed out motor neurons. So both of those are in clinical trials currently. Uh, and there are other thoughts of how to improve muscle function as well. So those are, are, are quite important. I would add also that uh, both the Nusinersen and the gene therapy programs are now embarking on a pre-symptomatic study to try to look at even earlier delivery of treatment to the baby before the onset of symptoms. And we're seeing a very robust response with the Nusinersen babies uh, who are now uh, approaching two years of age. Uh, and we're hoping to see a similar response with the gene therapy program. Now that we have uh, this first treatment uh, for SMA, I think it's important to keep in mind that this is not a cure, and it's a wonderful first step, but it's really just opening the door to future treatments. Uh, I think the hot topic at the moment is the idea of newborn screening, and it, we've certainly shown that it's feasible to do screening on the little blood spots that are done on all babies at birth, and it's relatively inexpensive. So it's feasible to do a mass screening, 
try to identify babies pre-symptomatically and uh, move forward with treatment options at that time before they have symptoms. So this really could revolutionize how we treat SMA. Uh, there are likely to be two groups of patients, uh, those who are currently symptomatic that will be treated with these drugs uh, that are evolving in the clinical trials, as well as trying to treat a cohort of patients pre-symptomatically. So the future is really quite exciting.